Okay, this is to answer some general questions about power dissipation in a resistor. And to start, we'll go with a simple resistor circuit. And in this circuit we have our voltage source, V, our resistor R, and there'll be a current through that resistor of I. Now Ohm's law tells us that the current through that resistor is going to be equal to the voltage across the resistor divided by the resistance. And similarly, if we multiply through this equation by R, we get that the voltage across the resistor is equal to the current through the resistor times the resistance. And so we'll use both of these forms of Ohm's law to develop a couple of different expressions for the power dissipated in a resistor. Actually, there'll be three different forms for the power. P, the power P is going to be equal to the voltage across the resistor times the current. Now to get two other forms, we're going to substitute in Ohm's law. We'll take the first form of Ohm's law and we'll plug it in for I so that we'll get VI is equal to V times the quantity V over R, which equals V squared over R. And similarly, if we plug the second form of Ohm's law in for V, we'll get I times R times R times I, and this will give us I squared times R. Now let's take an example here. Let's say V is equal to 24 volts. And let's say that R is equal to oh, 3 ohms. Well, we can see that the current through that resistor is going to be equal to 24 volts divided by 3 ohms. And this will give us 8 amps. And if we go ahead and calculate the power all three different ways, we'll get P is equal to V times I, which is equal to 24 volts times 8 amps. And this should give us 192 watts. Similarly, we go plug this in, P is equal to V squared over R, which is equal to 24 volts squared divided by 3 ohms. And that should also give us 192 watts. And then the last one, P will be equal to I squared times R, and this will be equal to 8 amps squared times 3 ohms. And again, this should give us 192 watts. So let's see what happens when we have an entire network of resistors. Uh, specifically, we're going to look at a series circuit of resistors and a parallel circuit of resistors. And let's start with the parallel circuit. And we'll use some of the same values. So let's say again, we'll have our voltage source. And let's have three resistors in parallel. And let's say this is R1, R2, and R3. 
And let's say for the sake of the, of the example here, V is equal to 24 volts again. R1 is equal to 1 ohm. R2 is equal to 2 ohms. And R3 is equal to 3 ohms. We'll keep it simple here. Now each of these resistors is going to draw its own current. So these will be three different currents going down each of these branches. But in a parallel circuit, these resistors all share the same voltage drop across them. So the first form, or I suppose actually rather the second form of the power equation is going to be the easiest to use because we don't have to calculate the currents in this case. So we'll say the power across resistor 1 is going to equal V squared over R1, which is going to be 24 volts squared over 1 ohm. And this should be equal to 576 watts. And then the power dissipated in resistor 2 is going to be V squared over R2, which is going to be 24 volts squared, the whole thing squared, divided by 2 ohms, which will be equal to 288 watts. And P3 is equal to V squared over R3 is going to be 24 volts the whole thing squared divided by 3 ohms and this should again be 192 watts. Now let's take a look at the same electrical components except this time in a series circuit. So we've got our, our voltage source So this time the resistors will be in series. And let's use the same values here. Say V is equal to 24 volts. R1 is equal to 1 ohm. R2 is equal to 2 ohms. And R3 is equal to 3 ohms. Well, in a series circuit, there'll be a different voltage drop across each resistor, but this time they'll all share the same current. So in that case, the last form of the power equation is going to be probably the easiest to use. So what we'll do is we'll calculate I, and that's the current that will be through each resistor, and then we can use that to calculate the power dissipated in each resistor. So let's have a look. So the current in this case will be equal to the voltage drop, the, the, excuse me, the voltage supply across the circuit divide, divide, divided by the sum total of all the resistors. And so this is 24 volts divided by 1 plus 2 plus 3 ohms. So that's going to be 24 volts divided by 6 ohms, which should give us 4 amps. Okay, so let's calculate the power dissipated in each of these resistors. So P1, which will be the power dissipated in R1, that'll be equal to I squared times R1, which is going to be equal to 4 amps squared times 1 ohm which should give us 16 watts. P2, similarly, will be I squared times R2, which is equal to 4 amps squared times 2 ohms, which will be 32 watts. And similarly, P3 is going to equal I squared times R3, 
which is equal to 4 amps squared times 3 ohms, which should be 48 watts. And as you can see, compared to the parallel circuit, the, these powers across each dissipated in each resistor are actually much less than the, the power dissipated in the comparable parallel circuit that we just looked at.